In today's cartoon story joke, we will tell you a story about a birthday and feeling special on this day. But to get to the comedy portion of today's story, we dig through a minefield of history of birthdays. Let's face it, birthdays, yawn, cake, presents, forced merriment with distant relatives who keep asking if you've found a nice spouse yet. Spoiler alert, fungus are low maintenance companions, but not exactly spouse material. But hey, before you decide to spend your birthday wrapped in a blanket, muttering existential dread at the wall, let's spice things up with a little history lesson. Did you know birthdays weren't always about bad small talk and questionable cake frosting? In fact, the first birthday celebrations were throwdowns fit for a, well, a pharaoh. We're talking ancient Egyptian people. Party favors, solid gold crocodiles, probably. The Greeks, bless their candle-loving souls, were the first to stick birthday flames on cakes. Turns out, they weren't celebrating Aunt Gertrude, but the goddess Artemis. So, the next time you blow out those candles, imagine you're a mythical being and not just someone who forgot to go to the gym this year. Speaking of things people used to frown upon, birthdays and Christianity had a rocky relationship at first. Apparently, early Christians considered celebrating your birth date a tad too pagan for their liking. Thankfully, someone finally convinced them that baby Jesus deserved a party too, and the tradition we know and love or tolerate began to spread. Fast forward to Germany, where birthday cakes finally got their big break. Because, let's be honest, cake is the real star of the show. This is where things get interesting. The Germans invented Kinderfeste, which translates to kid fests. Shocking, I know. Basically, it was an excuse to pile sugar on a child and light it on fire while they made a wish. Safety regulations must have been way more relaxed back then. But fear not, gluten-free friends. The birthday cake revolution wasn't complete until the Industrial Revolution waltzed in. Suddenly, sugar became affordable, and bakeries could crank out cakes faster than you could say, piñata. This meant birthday parties for everyone. From there, birthday traditions spread around the world, morphing into the quirky celebrations we have today. So, the next time you blow out those candles, remember, you are part of a long and fascinating tradition that started with worshiping gods and somehow ended up with singing Baby Shark off-key. Now that you had a history lesson on birthdays, let's scramble the jets to fight of all the sad faces, because it's comedy time. This husband woke up on his birthday expecting breakfast in bed and presents from his wife and kids. As he was the boss of this large company and was turning 50, it was supposed to be a big celebration on this marvelous achievement. Hitting the big 5-0 does not come around every day, and he was planning on feeling special for the day. He had this illusion that he would be spoiled to oblivion and be partying all the way until sunrise the next morning. As he was laying there, he wondered why things are just so normal in his household. Surely everyone hasn't forgotten his special day. He kept feeling a bit annoyed and thought the breakfast and festivities would start at the breakfast table. Once again, he was filled with disappointment as his wife and kids were doing exactly what they were doing every normal morning. This was a very disappointing start to his morning as he finished his cold coffee and rubbery breakfast. So, off to work he went as if this was just any other day, feeling, however, like he had just walked out of a dentist's office, not in the mood for any talking at all. However, great was his surprise when he entered the office and the secretary greeted him with happy birthday, boss. Hope you are going to have a wonderful day. Well, it seemed that at least someone was still interested enough in him to remember his birthday. As lunchtime approached, the secretary said, You know, boss, the office is so quiet today. Why don't me and you go for a quick lunch to celebrate your birthday? Marvelous idea, he thought. So off they went to a casual restaurant. After a quick meal, the secretary took him by surprise by suggesting that he come over to her house to continue his birthday celebration. As she was a very attractive woman, to boss complied with this lovely suggestion. 
Once he got to her house, she told him to sit on the couch and get ready for a real party as she was going to slip into the bedroom to get something a bit more applicable for a real celebration. A minute later, the bedroom door opened and out walked the boss's family, his parents, all his work's colleagues with birthday cakes and many presents. It's obvious that this was a well-planned surprise, which he should have been well appreciated off. The only problem was that there he was sitting on the couch, but naked, like the day he was born. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>